Hey guys, so today I wanted to share with you some makeup products that I know I can always rely on when I need them. So these are the products that basically like will not come and go. They need to be in my collection, 100%. So I wanted to start off with foundation. So I'm not necessarily married to any one foundation. Um, you might see like repeats. There's a bunch that I love. Uh, I fell in love with the one from Valentino, the one from Rare Beauty is probably as close as it gets to like a go-to foundation if I had to pick one. But the one that I know I can always rely on is actually not a foundation. Uh, I am actually wearing it today. I choose this over any other foundation, I would say, yeah, any other foundation ever. The other ones I'll kind of like dabble in, but uh, it is the Tarte Amazonian Clay BB Tinted Moisturizer. I fell in love with this because I was looking for something that was gonna be a little bit more sheer and kind of let my like natural skin come through, but also provide like a surprising amount of coverage. And by coverage, I think I mean more of like a, an even tone to the skin. So overall an even tone, which is essentially what foundation is meant to do is just create a cohesive color throughout your face so that you can kind of like build on top of that. And then if you need more coverage, you can conceal. Uh, and this just kind of like did it for me when I used it the first time. I was kind of amazed because it's very difficult to find just the cat hair on my chest. Um, very hard to find, like BB things, tints. I feel like they always run really orange or pink essentially. And this, the shade Ivory, is just so perfect for my skin tone. It just like blends seamlessly. It's very, it's like a, a kind of like a fair to light vanilla kind of shade, which just works for my skin tone because I do have like quite a bit of um, like a golden warmth with an olive undertone. So as far as the tint goes, I want something that's gonna be more golden and this is perfect for it. Uh, it's got SPF 20, which is just like, you know, not really doing that much, but it makes me feel better about myself. Uh, and I love it so much. It's very, very comfortable. It's hydrating, but it's not too much. And yeah, I can always rely on this. Did I wear this to the, I actually think I wore this recently to our friend's wedding, which you would think I would wear something like, I don't know, more glam, but I did very glam makeup, but I use this as my base. Next up is concealer. I am so, I, there's a bunch of different concealers that I absolutely love. Uh, L'Oreal Infallible is a great one for drugstore. That's definitely my go, go to as far as drugstore. And of course, Tarte Shape Tape came up in my mind. Um, that was an oh, that was like a go-to for such a long time. But I have to say that in the last, I don't know, whenever Rare Beauty launched, I guess, the Rare Beauty concealer has just become my absolute go-to no matter what. I have the two shades, 170W, which is like maybe a shade or two lighter than my actual skin tone, and then 100W, once again, used both of these today. Uh, and I use this one to like really, really brighten and highlight. It's a serum concealer, but it's not super liquidy, which is what I like about it. It's kind of like this medium coverage uh, that you can build up or sheer out. So I prefer things that are like more medium coverage typically now because they give you a little bit more wiggle room. Yeah, and then also her shade range is incredible. And I, what I like about the um, shade range is that like if you pick up the foundation, the concealer is already like a cup, maybe like a shade or two lighter than it. So it's all, it's kind of like matched up. Like 170W in the foundation is a little bit darker than 170W in the concealer. So you have like your foundation base and then a little bit of highlighting. It's like already set up for you. If you don't want that, then that's probably important to know as well. The nice thing about it and the reason that I picked it over Shape Tape is I know that Shape Tape has the creamy version now or the like hydrating version, but this is, is going to work for my skin, whether it's dry, whether it's oily, like no matter what. Like I only need to use one. I don't need like different versions, which is really nice minus the different colors, but whatever, it's not a necessity. All right, as far as color correctors go, I use so many different color correctors. <laughs> I just got a lot of makeup. So the one that is my absolute like go-to I need to have in my collection to color correct underneath my eyes is actually the uh, LA Girl Pro Conceal in Light Ivory. Wait, Light Ivory? Yeah, Light Ivory. This is just 
it's great. It's a great formula. It provides like a nice amount of coverage. It is a concealer. It's not actually a color corrector, but for some reason, light ivory is like straight up peach. So this works beautifully as a color corrector for me. And the formula is just like really nice. It provides coverage without being heavy. Once again, it's not like drying. I've never used this as an actual concealer. Like I've never used this in like my actual concealing shade, only ever used uh, this guy for color correcting and I love it. It always just like works beautifully underneath my concealers. Uh, you may not have seen this in a little while because I've been like dabbling in other ones. Today I use Sigma and I usually, like sometimes I use NARS, sometimes I use Becca, but once again, like depending on the finish of my skin, this one just always works, whether it's dry, whether it's oily, whatever. And it's super affordable because it's LA girl. It's like so cheap. It's like tops $5, I think. I hope it's not more than that. So I'm sticking this, sticking this? So I'm sticking to products that I have a go-to for, like the ones that need to stay, uh, because I do, like things come and go all the time, but the stuff that like I absolutely need, that's what we're talking about. Uh, and I would say, as far as contour goes, I need my Wayne Goss Radiance Boosting Face Palette in, I think this is just the lightest one, but this is, it's soft gold glow and light taupe. And it is just like so perfect for me. Absolutely gorgeous. I don't really use the bronzer that much. It is nice. It's like fine for my skin tone. It works. It's got like a nice sheen to it, uh, but it's not like glittery or anything, which I don't mind clearly judging by my cheeks, but the contour color is so perfect. And what I love about it is that it's not too dark. A lot of the time contour colors end up being really, really dark, or if they're for fair skin, for whatever reason, they end up being like really red or something. Uh, I don't know. This is just like, this is really stunning for if uh, you're fair and you also are fair to light and you have like more warmth in your skin, in my opinion, as it creates like a beautiful shadow without looking like way too cool toned. Uh, you know, I've been using my Fenty Matchstick in Amber, which is like very cool toned. And that's fine because I've been, you know, if you blend, it's fine. Like whatever color you use, as long as you're blending, you're good. And you have it like going, you know, throughout everywhere. But if you're lazy about blending, his formulas are so gorgeous. They're meant for like every skin type, every age. And they're like almost impossible not to blend properly. So I know that I'm always going to need this. Uh, actually, if I can like throw this in as like a little bit of a double, I need this because I use it for eyeshadow so often. I actually did use it today for this look that if it's not up already, it will be up soon. Um, I did a modern Marilyn Monroe look. I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> anyway, minus the lip. The lip is not, whatever. Uh, so yeah, I need this in my life always. I did love the Kevin Aquan uh, contour powder, but I think this is better. I think it's better. I think it's better. Do I? I think it's better. I don't have a go-to blush. My blush is always changing. Should I just show you one? I literally don't have a go-to blush. I don't think I've ever had a go-to blush. You know what? There might have been one at one point in time, but I think it's from Revlon and Revlon is no more. So I just feel wrong recommending it. You know what I mean? But they had some good blushes. Yeah. Bronzer is another one where I don't necessarily have a go-to. Just while we're here talking about like face products, I kind of feel like because I've been using this for a while, but I'll dabble in other bronzers. I kind of feel like NARS San Juan is a product that I'm gonna have to keep forever because sometimes bronzers end up looking too red or I don't know, sometimes my like skin in general just ends up like the warmth disappears. And this is such a beautiful warm bronzer that I kind of just feel like I'm always gonna need it. So there's that. I'm just throwing that in here really, really quick. I don't know if it's a go-to, but I think it might be. I have four highlighters. Wait, do I have more? No, I only have, 
Well, I only have one, but I want to give you some options for some reason. I don't know. This isn't the point of this video, but I'm gonna do it anyway. My one highlighter. No, I'm totally fucking up because I said I wasn't gonna, I said I wasn't gonna, and now I am. Whatever. My one highlighter that I can't live without is Champagne Pop. And thank God that when Becca was dissolved, Smashbox bought this and the color corrector, I guess, which is fine. This, I mean, I think we all know this was revolutionary when it came out. The Becca Shimmering Skin Perfectors were revolutionary. The formulas were absolutely stunning. Their powder, uh, I mean, I guess this is the powder shimmering skin per perfector. The formula is perfect. I'm wearing this on my cheeks right now with um, a lighter highlighter underneath it, but I cannot possibly ever live without this highlighter, ever. I used to think that way about Becca Moonstone, which I'll be honest with you, I do miss a lot, but I was able to replace it with my Vesca highlight and like seems to do pretty well. It's not the same formula, but like I essentially get the same result. But this guy, this color is so perfect. Like it's too dark for me to use on just my cheekbones. You know what I mean? Like just up here, but I use it as like a cheek topper. I'll use it just above my time. I mean, you guys have seen me use those. It's stunning. It's absolutely stunning. And I don't know what I would do without it. Truly, truly. Like this is like one of the ones where I'm like, I really, really need this. Thank you Smashbox for saving it. Oh, and then I, d I just wanted to give you like a really quick little drugstore. Cause like not, none of my products that I, that I die for are really drugstore, but this is like kind of similar ish. The Mega Glow Highlighter by uh, in Golden Flower Crown by Wet n Wild. It's like kind of similar. It's got a beautiful finish. I actually like mixing these two. This one's in Blossom Glow. Wait, Blossom Glow? Yeah. These two from Wet n Wild to create like kind of a custom color for my cheeks. They're definitely not a dupe in my opinion for that. They're very, very shiny, but they're really good for drugstore. So it was like, as far as having, I don't know, like a drugstore tutorial or whatever, these are definitely a must have. And I just wanted to throw them in there for some reason. I don't know why. I guess my, fuck, I don't know. I mean, obviously for my brows, soap is just a necessity. I recently purchased a few different glycerin soaps. So I'm not necessarily going to say that Dr. Bronner's is like, I have to have, cause I haven't tried these yet. Maybe it'll get replaced, but soap in general, no brow product that is meant to hold my brows up, holds my brows up. Not a single one. Gabby, I love you. I don't know if you're gonna see this. I bought the Patrick Ta brow thing, okay? I don't, I don't understand. You have to show me, okay? I don't understand. It did not work for me at all. All these products, and people say, are gonna be like, so perfect. They're gonna hold my brows like crazy. Nothing does it like soap. Soap is the only thing that holds my brow hairs in place. The only thing. Then, I mean, it's tough for me to sit, like, cause I love a pencil. I love, well, powder I could do without, but like the new About Face pencil I'm like obsessed with. I cannot live without the NYX, I don't have the right color here. I mean, I have every single color. That's the point. The NYX brow tint pen is the best brow pen out there. They have like every color that you could possibly want. I have every color. <laughs> I think I have blonde, uh, taupe, gray, black. What's this one? Blonde, taupe, gray, black, ash brown, I think. Um, today I used taupe, but I also used the about face pencil. So I did a little combo situation. But once I go in with my soap, like you can see where everything is really sparse. And if you don't have a brow pen, like a pencil and powder, they're just, I mean, I guess you could use like, like a dip brow type situation, but I just love the pen. It's so easy. Cannot live without that. Absolutely love it so much. I guess this is a drugstore. Um, shout out to NYX. It looks so much prettier with this lip color. I didn't like it with the red. Um, all right, next up is mascara. There's plenty of mascaras also that I feel like they, they need to be in my kit, in my kit, my kit. I mean, whatever, it's a kit. The only one that I could never live without and my go-to that I'm always wearing is the Clio Kill Lash Superproof Mascara. 
And I like, they have two different ones, one for like lengthening and one for like curling or something. One with like a straight wand and one with a curved wand. I think I prefer the curved wand, uh, but the formula is essentially the same. It's just the wand is a little bit different. I love it so much. It's the most waterproof mask. I mean, I think, I don't know, maybe Wayne Goss's mascara is a little bit more waterproof, but there's something about this wand that I just love. I love how tiny it is and precise it is. And it's my go-to, I don't know. I think, I think I reach for it more because actually, is it even cheaper? I don't even know if it's cheaper than the Wayne Goss mascara. It's just more readily available. You can get it on Amazon, you know? So if I'm like getting low, I can just like stock up real quick. They also have like different colors. They have brown, which is really nice. I really wanted to get the brown. But yeah, I just absolutely love this mascara. I cannot live without it. I can't. And there's other good waterproof mascaras out there, but this is the one for me. Powder-wise, I don't really have a go-to. I switch up my powders all the time. I was using the LC Cosmetics setting powder underneath my eyes for a really long time. And I've recently like been trying to get off of powder or at least like lessen it a little bit. So that's kind of like up in the air right now. Eyeshadows <laughs> literally come and go. I have so many products that I love so much. If I had to choose one palette, I think I would say my Hindash palette, the original, the Butopsy palette. And the reason for that is because every single, with, well, I was gonna say with the exception of these, I really don't use these very often, very, what? Very often, everything else I use so often. This palette is just like, there's just so many things you can do with it. You can contour your face. I love using it for eyeshadows. Obviously you can use it for blush. You can use it as like setting powders. Like you can literally use this for anything and the formulas are so incredible that if I didn't have it, I feel like I would be missing something. This is often, if I'm going somewhere, the palette that I pack, because it's also super duper thin and there's nothing pretentious about it, you know, in terms of packaging. It's so easy to travel with. It's super lightweight. So yeah, if I had to pick one eyeshadow palette, I think this would be it, to be completely honest with you. <sighs> the next thing for eyes, the only, the only other thing for eyes, to be completely honest, the About Face paints. I love these so much. I use them mostly, honestly, as liner for creative looks, but they make really great eyeshadow bases as well. And they have every single color, which is incredible. And then you can mix them to make custom colors. I feel like everybody has eye paints, but these are just like the ones that I grab the most. Uh, I don't know what I would do without these as far as like doing anything cool and creative and colorful on my eyes. It's nice that they're not like super duper liquidy, but they're also not like too thick. So you can do like kind of liquidy eyeliner things. I don't know, they're just the best. I love About Face, I love everything they're doing, all the color and stuff. Um, okay, and then for eyeliners, ColourPop Cream Gel Liners. I love these so much. They're, I, to be completely honest, I don't even really use ColourPop that much anymore because they just come out with stuff so often that like if I use it, it's like sold out immediately and just gone forever and you know what I mean? But the one thing that I'm never sick of are their cream gel liners. I have them in like basically every single color. I can't possibly pick them all up. These are my go-to for a colorful waterline, which is always something that I need as an option. I always need the option of a colorful waterline, especially this color right here. They're super affordable. They're creamy. Uh, they, I have no problem with them like running or anything. They stay put in my waterline. And I don't know what I would do without them. And that's that. Oh, here's the yellow one. So here's the thing about lips. Once again, I don't really have a go-to. I have products like for instance, oh, so many Revlon products that are just like not even gonna be available anymore someday. Like Revlon Untold Stories, oh, it's such a nice nude. But like I love Lisa Eldridge lipsticks. Yeah, there's like so many different lipsticks that whatever. I recently have come across like a few lip liners that are that like might be contenders at some point soon. The one that I used today, maybe we'll see. But the one lip product that I can always count on, I'm pretty sure isn't even fucking available anymore. Hold on, let me actually look it up just to make sure. Yeah, dude, it's so sad. I don't know why they did this to me. It's like incredibly rude. Lime Crime was not a brand that I had a ton of experience with, 
but I remember way back in the day, the velveteen lips, those were always like, they were big. Like everybody wore the liquid lipsticks and I remember picking up the liner and I can't remember why I got this. Maybe someone recommended it to me because I was looking for something that was going to be more like a taupey color. This is Lime Crime Taupest Lip Liner and it does not exist anymore. And I, when I heard that it was being discontinued, I bought like eight of them. Uh, and I almost have one in every single bag. I have like f at least four that are unopened. <laughs> it's the most perfect, cool toned, taupey contour shade for my lip color. I'm not wearing it today because I'm wearing something that's like darker. This right here is a waste, okay? Look at how beautiful that fucking color is. It's perfect. It's just cool toned enough. It's just pink enough. It's just taupey enough. There isn't too much warmth, but it's not like too dead looking. It's not like too gray. Man, when I found this, I was like, this is the most perfect lip liner. I wear this all the time. I will often, if I'm wearing like a glossy lip, it's usually just like this lip liner and like a lip balm or like my Auric uh, plush, plush Ritual is one of my favorite combos. That's like my go-to lip. Actually, I should throw that in here. I don't think I can ever live without this either. Just honorable mention. <laughs> but you know what? I'm gonna end on this because this is a serious petition to bring this shit back. Cause I can't tell you how, how often I get comments from people complimenting me on my lip liner or just like the lip that I'm wearing in general and begging me to know what it is. And I wear this often in videos and people are like, what are you wearing? Like, what is that? And I'm like, hmm, it's no more. Like it does not exist. So I don't know what we need to do. There's like over an, a million of you subscribed to me. I've never sent an army towards anyone before, but if we could like get someone to make this again, I don't even care. It doesn't have to be Lime Crime, but like I need this color again in my life because I'm going to be, I'm going to run out of the eight that I have at some point and then shit is going to get weird. Maybe I'll come out with a makeup brand with literally just like one lip liner so that I can have this again. I think it would be worth it. I'm worried that I'm forgetting things, but I feel like that was everything. Cause like there's plenty of stuff that I love. There's plenty of stuff that I feel like, especially with this ridiculous amount of makeup that I own, that I, I would miss probably if I didn't have it. Oh, you know what? I gotta throw on another highlighter. Speaking of Auric, the um, Morganite, the new one, perfection. It's so gorgeous. I think this is gonna be, like in the summer I get sweaty, you know? But um, in the winter time, oh, it's so beautiful. If you're fair skinned, bro, the, the, cause the new one is like just a little bit lighter. It's more of like a kind of neutrally vanilla shade. Uh, it's perfection. Oh, so beautiful. Would not be able to live without this. So it belongs in this video. There's like a ton of makeup that I think I would miss probably because I like to switch it up sometimes. It's probably not obvious from any of these videos though. Cause I feel like I've been using the same things over and over again, but yeah, anyway, I don't know. I wanted to share with you the things that I can always rely on because we obviously like, maybe not me as much, but I know that like as an influencer, we receive so much new makeup that like you wanna constantly be trying new things. And once again, not really me, <laughs> but maybe I should do that a little bit more actually. But like sometimes it can be really easy to forget products that you absolutely love that like really, really work for you because I kind of feel like I can make pretty much everything work, which is why I'm always switching it up behind the scenes, not on camera. I feel like on not on camera, I'm switching it up always, especially if I have somewhere nice to go and I need to look really good. I love to be like, you know what? I'm gonna try a completely different base and then it totally gets fucked up and whatever. But yeah, I think it's important to remember that there are certain products that like those are the go-tos and no matter what, like if everything else were to leave, I think I would be fine. Like I could do a full face, I'd be glam as fuck. You know, I, <laughs> I know I just <laughs> ranted about using too much new makeup, but uh, if you wanted to see, I was thinking about filming like a full face of new makeup because I, I guess I haven't on YouTube really switched it up recently. So let me know if you want to see that. And uh, also I know that you want me to try REM beauty again. I'm gonna, 
I've placed an order for some products. We're gonna do a round two. I'm gonna try and uh, keep an open mind here. So yeah, uh, that's it guys. Thank you for watching. I hope that this was helpful in some way. Feel free to leave me any questions, especially if you have like certain skin concerns and you're curious about any of these products. <sighs> wow, talk so much. Uh, I'm gonna go and I'll see you soon.